Right, so you've had a quick look at Dropbox. Uh, what I'm going to demonstrate now is um, showcasing your images online. And there's a couple of ways. Uh, well, there's lots of ways you can do that. You could do that with uh, Flickr or something like that. But what, how a lot of people do it, and it's very effective, is to use iWeb. Now, the problem with iWeb is it's been discontinued. So what are your alternatives? Because iWeb did look incredibly nice. It had um, some nice transitions and animations going on with it. Uh, you can organise it via album. There was a lot of stuff in there that was actually really nice. Um, now, you could go for something like your own hosted site. Uh, if you have your own domain name, very simple, but you are going to have to pay for service. And if you want something like WordPress or Joomla, Drupal, anything like that, which is a content management system, then although it might only be a few dollars a month, it certainly adds up over a year. So what I'm going to be demonstrating is a way to achieve um, a website online that doesn't have to look horrendous. Uh, it actually looks incredibly nice, free of charge, absolutely free of charge. So uh, I'm going to go over to that demo and get my files right. Now, first of all, in Dropbox, and it's Dropbox I'm going to be using for this, in Dropbox you have a folder called Photos. It's created for you automatically and it actually has a little camera icon on it. So I'm going to open my photos and I have one folder called event posters. Now, anything that you put in this photos folder, you can share. So all I'm going to do is right click on there, go to Dropbox and I have an option to have copy a public link to that gallery. So I'm going to click on there. Now we need a browser and I have a browser. There is my browser. I'm going to paste that in and bring my browser across. There we go. And what it will do is open Dropbox, says it's Dropbox, and it'll show you what is in that folder. Now, only problem with something like this is that that isn't exactly nice to look at at this point. You can click one of those photos and it does give you this light box effect. You can also play a slideshow and you can go full screen with it. So you can actually do quite a lot with it, but it still has that feel of, yes, but it's Dropbox and it doesn't have a really pretty interface. So I can move between the images and I can say play slideshow and then just sit back. Now that slideshow feature was one of the things that um, iWeb did. So you can recreate that in here. What this doesn't give you, though, is any opportunity to collect comments on your images or maybe get a like on Facebook for them or something like that. So is there anything better that you can do? Well, there is. That's one way of doing it. But you also have in Dropbox a public folder and you can make any um, folder available for viewing. Now, I've just done it in the public folder. So I'm going to go into my public folder and you can see I have a folder called slider. And what I actually have in there is the files that make up an entire website. Admittedly, only one page of a website, but you could put as many as you want in there. So what I have, I have a HTML file. And I can open that for you in a text editor and actually show you the HTML. I have another folder for photos. There's my photos, six sample photos. I have a JS folder, which has some JavaScript in it. I have an IMG folder, which has in it um, what the site needs to look like. And I have CSS for cascading style sheets. So within that slider folder, I actually have a website. Now, why that's better than having your own web space and all the rest of it is, um, if you're used to iWeb, the one thing iWeb did incredibly well was it hid a lot of the work. You weren't interested in FTPing and what port numbers to open and the rest of it. You just uploaded and it just worked. And that's pretty much what you've got here. You, In fact, you don't even have to upload here. You just put the files in that folder and Dropbox takes care of the rest of it. So. I need to see that. So I right click on it. I go to Dropbox. 
and I have copy public link. So I copy the public link and the public link I'm copying is the link to that HTML file. So first of all, let's have a look what's in that HTML file. And it's opened it up on the other screen. There you go. Oh, it's HTML. Now I know it's HTML, but it's actually pretty simple. That's the doing bit, which is um, lines 106 downwards. But you don't even, all you really need to do there is put in links to your photos. So if you look there, I have photos one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's it. That's it. And I'm actually going to show you how you can not only do this and do this for free, but how you can actually change your images too. Uh, no coding required whatsoever. So I copied my public link. I'm going to go to another tab and paste in that new public link. And you can see what I've got there. The address is actually made up of Dropbox with a U for user, my user ID, folder name and my file. That file is the file on my computer and press enter there and what that does is that's actually loaded in really nicely because um, it's quite random actually if I refresh that page those numbers could look completely different because they're not just I haven't just written a page and put those images there that is actually all interactive so I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it and what happens when I hover over one of these is two things. I get um, a caption at the bottom, which I can decide what that caption actually says. And as I move over it, you can see what's happening is I get a Ken Burns effect. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what a Ken Burns effect is, it kind of moves the image behind a frame. So it's moving that image around. And as I hover over another one, I get a different caption and it starts moving that image. And all of this does not need anything clever server side. Now, a lot of these solutions do. They, they require WordPress and plugins and all sorts of things. And that costs and oh, it gets out of hand. I don't actually like plugins because as soon as I upgrade WordPress, they all stop working. And then I've got management to do. This couldn't be simpler. These files live on your hard drive. I wouldn't even have to put these in Dropbox for it to work. I could have these on my desktop and it would still work. It's HTML5 and it's JavaScript. In fact, it looks absolutely fine on an iPad, which I won't be showing you because I just turned all that off, but it does actually work incredibly well on an iPad. So that's what we've got. Now I'll just refresh that and you can see those numbers will come in slightly different. There we go. So that's what you've got. Now, what you would need to know now is, well, that's all very well. They're sample images. How do I put my proper images in there? Couldn't be simpler. Absolutely could not be simpler. Honest. So I'm going to put my browser up there. I'm going to get my Dropbox folder, which is here. Put that next to it. And you can see that that is the folder structure I've just shown you. And my photos are in photos and they are helpfully numbered one to six and I have small copies of them as well. The reason I have small copies of them is what happens when I click here. It's all very well having them Ken Burns nicely behind me, but what happens when I click them? Well, it opens them up for you in a light box and you can go um, full size with that to see the full quality. You you're not limited to this. You could actually have it when you click an image, it goes to a different place on the website. But as I've set this up here, all this is happening with just the JavaScript that's already there. So that's what happens when I click it. And I'm seeing the large images, which are the 20K ones at the top. The small images are what's moving around here with the Ken Burns effect when I move over it. So how do you get your images in there? All too exciting. Right, well, I have a set of images that I already have, helpfully named in a folder, Images for Swapping. So if I bring those on, you can see they are named exactly the same. And these just happen to be some of my posters that um, advertise my events. So there's the images that I'm swapping them out with. And all I need to do, couldn't be easy, I don't need to upload them per se, they'll get uploaded automatically when I put them in the Dropbox folder. So what I'm going to do is, now put a folder on my desktop called samples. 
and I'm going to move the sample images out of here into there. And because it's going from my Dropbox, it happens automatically. I'm going to take these from there and I'm going to put copies of them in there. And what will then happen is that will then start to upload them. And wow, that was fast. I've now got the green ticks to tell me all of that is done. So what are the odds it's going to work? Oh, I love live demos. So I'm refreshing that page there and it's having a think about it. And there you go. So I didn't go through any FTP or anything at all like that. All I had to do was put them in my Dropbox folder. And now when I hover over these, now I know that says wedding. That was just because the, they were just the examples for today. But as I hover over that, you get to see more of that image with the Ken Burns effect. And if I click on it, you will see the larger image which will load in. I think that's as big as they are. That's fractionally smaller than the others. So uh, I have that one. I go into there and it's actually loading in the right ones as well, isn't it? So you could actually have um, these there and rather than recode anything, just change them. So you can change your website and you could have as many pages set up like this as you wanted to and just change them by uploading new images. That's all you need to do. Of course, if you're competent and confident with the, Z the CSS, the HTML, then feel free to change it all. But what I've got there was um, it's purchasable in terms of you find it's not a plugin. It's a set of scripts and all you have to do, you don't need to script them at all. You just put them in the right place. So what I've got in there in my slider folder are all I need and all you need to provide are the images. Now, just to show you, there, there's there are some actually free as well. So there's one here called the Wow Slider. And this would do exactly the same kind of thing. I just chose to have six images displayed in six little windows. But this is using exactly the same technique. Um, and there's lots of different options. Um, there's one there with circles at the top and you get your fold, your uh, caption there and you click to move on and you can see you've got these dots at the top as you hover over there it's showing you a different one so you can go straight to it all of these work in exactly the same way and would work using the, the principles that I've demonstrated with the Dropbox one so very 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 similar to that um, and it can be completely cost free you get two gig of space uh, on a free Dropbox you can either pay for more space or you can get more space by referring people. So please use my referral link and then I'll get a little bit more space. Um, two gig doesn't sound much when you think about desktop storage, but we actually had a website hosted with a UK based company. Um, and insanely, uh, I think literally up to the last renewal, which was about Christmas, they were giving us 10 meg per site. <laughs> yeah, there weren't many photos up there, I'll tell you. Um, historically, you know, 10 meg, 20 meg was considered to be more than enough for a website. So two gig would go a long, long way. And just to show you there, uh, let's go back to public and slider and just show you how big that actually is. That is 4.4 meg. And I'm just thinking, do I have anything spare in there? I've actually got a lot of images that I don't need. Um, there's just a few K for the scripts. Uh, my photos themselves are also very, very small, 655K. So two gig would go a long, long way. And it makes um, a very good replacement for iWeb because you don't have to know anything at all, uh, literally, the only changes you would need to make is either change the names of the files in the HTML to be your files or rename your files to what's in the HTML, one or the other, and it would work as you've seen it there. So uh, that was my last demonstration tonight, the Dropbox website, how to host your images and showcase them for free.